And so we're ready for our third tangle or pattern. And this time I'm going to choose my largest block that I have left. And this pattern, or as we say in Zen Tangle, a tangle is called Holly Bow. All the names uh, don't really have anything to do with the actual shape you're making. And that's for a reason so that when you're actually drawing your lines, you're not really thinking of anything in particular. So it allows your mind to free up. So let's start with Holly Bow. I'm going to start with a line that goes from one side of my shape all the way down to the other side of the shape, a nice straight line. And then I'm going to parallel that with another line that is about the same width as the pen. And then I'm going to put a line going underneath that. Again, I'm rotating my card instead of my neck. It's much more comfortable. So at another angle, I'm going to put another line. And when I come to that plank or line I've just drawn, I lift my pen, I continue on the other side. I'm going to make this line rectangle a little bit thinner than my very first one. I rotate my tile again. I'm going to start at one side of the shape. I'm going to draw a straight line and wherever it hits another line I've already drawn, I lift my pen and bring it from where it should appear on the other side. Again, this one's just going to be a little bit thinner. And sometimes your lines may be wavy. They may not be straight and that's okay too. And when you're done, it's going to look like a bunch of almost wood planks that have fallen haphazardly upon one another. And we've got some space in between some places and that's okay too. And I'm just turning it around to see, hmm, is there another line I would like to put? I think I'm going to put one last one in here. And I'm just going as far as my frame is allowing me at this point. Again, continue until you feel you have enough planks in there. And join me in the next video for our last tangle for this class.